So at this point, we all know what ChatGPT is. But if you aren't aware for whatever reason, simply put, it's a text-based generative AI platform that uses what is known as large language models, or LLM for short, to give you an output of information based on a series of inputs, otherwise known as prompts. Despite only having been released publicly last November, in just a matter of months, ChatGPT has grown to be one of the fastest growing platforms on the web. In February of this year, ChatGPT reached over 100 million users. In just five days of its release, ChatGPT surpassed 1 million users. So whether you're an avid user or just heard of its name passing by, there is no doubt that the release of ChatGPT and other similar platforms is a huge milestone in transforming how we interact with the computers. Just as how Google changed how we find information, ChatGPT and other generative AI chatbots have the potential to change how we'll inevitably get information. So besides getting information, why is it so impactful? So imagine having a digital assistant that can write content, answer questions, provide recommendations, and engage in relatively intelligent conversations. This is exactly what ChatGPT can do. We can use ChatGPT to create chatbots, develop creative content, improve customer service, help with coding, and so much more. But maybe you've used it and thought, eh, it wasn't really that great, it didn't really work for me. Well, it definitely still does have its limitations, you need to still remember it has been less than a year since its release. And with every new iteration that comes out, things are only gonna get better and smarter. So what many people are missing out about using ChatGPT is knowing exactly how to talk to it. Honestly, there's so much you can do with it, but only if you write the right way. And to do this, you should first learn how to write prompts. So before I go into this video about how to write prompts a little bit better and smarter, make sure to subscribe to this channel so we can help you navigate this digital ocean called the internet. You might be thinking, what's so hard about writing prompts? I just instructed to tell me what I want and it'll give me an answer, right? Uh, not necessarily. What many people are missing about ChatGPT and why there are loads of critics is that the power of ChatGPT lies in conversation, not instruction. Writing prompts effectively requires finesse. A well-crafted prompt can pull out the information you genuinely seek, and after enough back and forth, it learned to guide the AI model toward your desired outcome. The most common misconception about the use of prompts in ChatGPT is that prompts are just sentence starters. A lot of users are unaware of the profound role their own words play in the direction of the response. ChatGPT is sometimes seen as some grand oracle that always produces amazing answers regardless of what you put. But that definitely is not the case. Just as how we say things matter to whether a person is receptive to the thing we say, talking to an AI is kind of the same. You can think about ChatGPT like a genie. If a genie asks you for a wish and you simply state, give me more money, it might grant that wish, but perhaps you might end up having a lot of money but you're a notorious drug dealer wanted by the government. Or perhaps you have all the money in the world, but are dealing with terrible health, unable to spend the money itself. So, what it really boils down to is a matter of specificity. So this is exactly why a field like prompt engineering has popped up. For those who aren't aware, prompt engineering is a recent field that has been popping up since this generative AI boom, with some jobs offering a starting salary of 300,000 US dollars. It is the process of carefully designing and refining prompts or instructions given to ChatGPT, and it empowers us to shape and lead to more accurate, contextually relevant, and meaningful responses. So remember, crafting prompts is not just about providing sentence starters, but skillfully guiding the AI to generate your desired output. We can all speak, but it's those who speak well that are considered great communicators and get their way in life. It's no different with prompting. Knowing how to control language and harness the true capabilities of AI can do wonders. Now, I'm not saying that you need to get into prompt engineering. What I am saying is that knowing how to write prompts is going to be a useful skill to have. In spite of ChatGPT gaining significant attention, prompt engineering represents a market that still has immense potential. Despite having millions of users, as mentioned earlier, many businesses and individuals are still unfamiliar with the potential. This means that there's a huge untapped opportunity for you to get ahead of the game and learn to position yourself at the forefront of this emerging field. By mastering prompt techniques, you learn to optimize and fine-tune the model's behavior to suit your specific needs. According to Gardner's hype cycle, it typically takes about two years for new technologies to adapt and mature. 
ChatGPT and other generative AI have only been public or around for less than a year, as I mentioned earlier. So by familiarizing yourself with some basic skills on how to write better prompts, you essentially position yourself ahead of the curve. So with all that explanation about the current market and why knowing how to write better prompts is quite useful, let's jump straight into the and I'll give you seven basic prompt patterns that you can set up to speak to ChatGPT more effectively. Number one, the completion pattern. Completion patterns involve providing a partial sentence or phrase that the model needs to complete. It basically prompts the model to generate the remaining information based on a given context. In terms of how to use this, specify the initial part of a sentence or phrase you want to model to complete. Completion patterns are useful for tasks such as text generation, creative writing, or filling in missing information. It's most useful for writers, content creators, and creative thinkers. Key tip, it's probably best to give some context first before jumping straight into it and expecting ChatGPT to give an answer. So let's say you write, finish this sentence, and then you write out the same sentence I put out once upon a time in a land land far away. Then it will kind of have some context and then finish that sentence. The second one is instructional patterns. Instructional patterns instruct the model on how to approach a given task or provide specific guidelines for getting a desired output. To do this well, you should clearly state the instructions or guidelines for the model to follow. For example, write me a persuasive essay arguing in favor of renewable energy. Instructional patterns are effective when you need to direct the model on how to perform a specific task, and is probably most useful for task-oriented prompts or guided writing. Number three, comparison patterns. Comparison patterns ask the model to compare or contrast multiple options or concepts. So the best way to use this is probably to present the options or concepts to be compared and prompt the model for its analysis. For example, compare the advantages and disadvantages of cloud computing versus on-premise servers. Comparison patterns are pretty valuable when you need the model to evaluate and discuss the similarities and differences between two or more subjects. It's best for comparative analysis or trying to outweigh pros and cons for something. Then there's question and answering patterns. Question answering patterns involve posing a specific question to the model, requiring it to generate a relevant and informative response. So all you really need to do here is ask a clear and specific question for the model to answer. For example, what is the capital of France? The question and answering patterns are suitable when you need the model to provide concise answers to those specific inquiries. So it'll be most useful for Q&A or information retrieval or some sort of trivia. The next pattern on the list is opinion or argument patterns. Opinion or argument patterns prompt the model to express a subjective opinion or make a persuasive argument about a particular topic. So frame the prompt in a way that invites the model to share its perspective or justify a stance. So for example, you could write, argue for or against the use of genetically modified organisms in agriculture. Opinion or arguing patterns are useful when you want a model to provide specific subjective viewpoints or engage in persuasive writing. This would be very useful for debates or preparing for debates, writing opinion pieces, or just writing some persuasive essays. The next is scenario patterns. Scenario patterns involve setting up a specific situation or scenario for the model to respond to or generate a story around. Provide a context, characters, and relevant details of the scenario. So for example, you can say, you wake up one morning to find yourself in a mysterious, deserted town. Describe your experience and what you will encounter. These scenario patterns are effective when you want the model to create narratives or dialogues or responses within a given text. It's quite useful for creative storytelling, fictional writing, or just trying to put yourself in a given scenario and seeing how it will play out. And finally on this list is command patterns. Command patterns direct the model to perform a specific action or task. So clearly state the command or action you want to model to execute. So for example, translate the following English text into French. Hello, how are you? Command patterns are suitable when you need the model to follow specific instructions. So this would probably be useful for task-oriented prompts or executing specific actions that you needed to do. 
Okay, so as you guys can see, this is just a general overview of basic prompt patterns to help you kind of get started with ChatGPT. This video is in no way saying that prompt engineering will be a job or skill of the future. Um, things change all the time, and especially with AI, it's going to change rapidly. Anything and everything can really go away in an instant. However, whether it's through Google Bard, Microsoft's Bing Chat, or ChatGPT, one thing for certain is that generative AI is definitely making waves. So whether it's to help you learn a new skill faster, inspire you to write better, help you work smarter, or simply assist you in making money online, just knowing the basics of writing prompts will definitely help you. So while this video itself was relatively beginner overview, I'll be continuing write, making videos like this that go deeper into the context of marketing or design or in ways to research for making money online. Whatever the case, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can continue to stay updated with all of the videos we'll be putting out on how to navigate this digital ocean.